Hi guys, I'm back with another Tiny Tidy Tuesday and in this video I am concentrating on my kitchen, um, doing deep cleaning and decluttering. So I am cleaning and decluttering and I'm going to show you a little bit of fall decor too. If you're new to my channel, my name is Michelle and this is my everyday wife life. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and click that bell button so you don't miss a another video and like and share. And don't forget to leave me a comment. Okay, again, for the fall, I'm concentrating on what I call zone four. That is my kitchen, my family room, the bathroom area of my house. And I'm going to start decluttering and cleaning out the drawers and my cabinets that's the first thing i'm going to do um this fall so all the cabinets um or the drawers need cleaned out and wiped down and if i find something i need to declutter i will but i my kitchen is pretty decluttered as it is i mean i might need to straighten up like some of the drawers are kind of messy i don't know if you would call that declutter <laughs> i guess that would be called organizing so i'm going to do that um yeah i still have dishes in the sink and that's against my rules i always say i need to have a clean kitchen for it first but <laughs> not today and i really wished i had bought like an apple scent cleaner to get all the feels of fall because you know i live in florida and it's still hot here and uh but i am using the um pink grapefruit uh method cleaner and i do really like that well i do not end up getting rid of anything i do have two um non-stick pans that i'm debating whether i need to um get rid of because i bought a new one but i'm gonna put it in the bottom drawer and think about it and if i don't use it after a while i'll get rid of those two pans but for now i'm not doing that so this is why this collab is so good so if you don't know this is a club put together by sunday dawn at the helpful home so i saw joy from organized with joy do this in her video um she used sticky tack on the bottom of her um lid rack so it would hold still because it's uh expandable and it moves around and stuff so thanks joy that's a great idea and i am writing something down that, oh i'm writing down that anymore sticky tack so that's something i have been doing lately i kind of got away from that i always think about what i need while i'm cleaning but i don't always have a pad ready to write it down so i'm gonna do that write it right away because you know the older you get the more you forget anyway so i'm just putting everything back in the drawer pretty much like it was and but feels a little cleaner and a little more organized the bottom drawer is pretty empty i do have another stock pot that I have in the sink that needs to be washed that needs to go in there but I actually had a third one and I got rid of that was that earlier this year I don't remember if it was this year or last year but I got rid of that because I don't need all those pots and pans I'm cleaning the drawers bit by bit I'm only doing two drawers at a time another day I will do two more drawers that's enough and my iron skillet just lives on the top of the stove that it's just too heavy to put in the drawer and lift out every time so it kind of just lives on the top of the stove and i use that daily so that's fine to have it in that spot these are the two pans that i'm thinking of getting rid of um but hubby does like to use those and i like to use them for cooking bacon in because then i don't ruin my good pan with that so i'm still having in hollywood whether to get rid of those and i've rearranged some fall decor that you may have seen in the last video because that is just how i do things it's really hard to do a fall decor video because i'm always moving it around and letting it resonate for a little while before i decide exactly where i want to place everything so i'm i'm gonna show you a little bit of fall decor but i'm also going to declutter the cabinet and the 
console, TV console, in the family room. Um, I'm going to get rid of that DVD player, and there's an Xbox in there, and we have an ongoing pile of stuff that we need to tend to. Some of that is from Hubby's man cave upstairs. He's been working on that, and so, yeah, I find two lizards in there. Yeah, and I'm going to wipe it down and figure out what to do in there. I have two, three... Um, decorative boxes in my Amazon cart right now, but I'm not sure they're going to work out in here because you can actually see them through the door because I put a white basket on the bottom here in a few minutes. And when I close that, you can see through the glass and I kind of don't like it. I like the dark basket at the top, although I need a bigger one that you can't really see through. So I'm going to put my seasonal decor in there so I don't have to store in the garage. So in there I have my um, spring decor in there, which actually is my everyday decor in the family room because I like the birds and the purple, the lavender. So that is really my everyday decor. So um, something fell down behind there and I needed to pull that out and fix that. Oh yeah, the that Apple TV thing fell behind there when I was cleaning. So I'm just grabbing my little duster. I have a couple of these around the house. I have one in the um, bedroom, so I don't have to grab my whole cleaning cart to do that. So I can just do a little quick dusting, not a wet dusting, um, and I don't know, I hang it in the pantry. And it's just real convenient to grab it real quick and do a little dusting. I already deep dusted this. I think in the last video or no it wasn't a tiny tiny Tuesday it was a, a zone cleaning I did that and I used the wood polish and um, to clean the whole wall unit but I am gonna just some things here because I'm not liking how it looks I showed that in a previous video again was that for yes I think that was in a fall um, to Tiny Ties Tuesday video. So we're going to throw the lizards away. Yeah, we're going to do that. See? Yeah, you can see that basket through there. And I don't like it. And all the games are in this cabinet. I'm going to see if I can locate them somewhere else. Um, I don't end up doing that. But <laughs> I just rearrange everything. You'll see that in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take down my lavender candles off of the shelves above the couch there. And I thought I would put these pumpkins up there, but they're kind of small. But I'm going to leave them there for now because I still have not gone through the bins in the garage and see if I have something in there that will work. I recently went to Marshall's and I did a thing and bought a new pillow there. But, you know, the cats take precedence, so it's on the little ottoman there so i'm just putting things in the basket there that i don't want there for the fall decor i don't know what i was doing but i bought a, bas a bag of little tiny pumpkins i'm sure i have some in the garage yeah and i just changed out a little bit of the decor that i did the last time to be more white um not so much orange I did buy this cute little garland that I got at Target for $10. I will link that down below if you're interested. It's always nice to have a little something new every year. And I'm going to get rid of some other stuff. So there's that. So I'm going through all of the decor on this side. And I'm going to take all of this out and put it in the dining room because there's a shelf in there. There it is. That I need to zhuzh and redecorate. So it's all going to go in there instead because that kind of the orange decor kind of matches the dining room I don't want it in the living room anymore kind of just going with the sage green color I do have sage green um pumpkins and uh white pumpkins in the garage I need to get those out and use use those in here and save the orange for the dining room still going through the rest of this here to see what I have I forgot all about this um, I'm trying to find a place for it and it doesn't really work out so I end up putting it back in the cabinet for now.
Okay, I want to change out the flowers in this vase that I got from Target. It's a little farmhouse looking. I really like that. So I put in some green peonies that I got off of Amazon. I just love those. I have them in different colors. So, um, yeah, and then I stuck in some sprigs of some yellowish orange little I don't know, wheat looking things, something like that. I thought that looked nice. And I ended up putting those two pillows in the dining room for now because I did not like them on the couch, putting my flowers away, trying to chop the pillow to make them look better. I don't know. Uh, haven't decided what I'm going to do with those pillows. I have some owl decor in the hutch here that I'm going to use in the family room. Sometimes I use it for a tablescape too. So but I'm going to go ahead and put that in the family room. Still have not found a spot for the placemats. But here in a little bit, you'll see I end up using the placemats. I'm not really going to do the whole tablescape anymore with the dishes and everything. I'm just going to do the table runner thing, which you see there that I've already done that in another video. So I end up using the placemats as decor in the family room. And actually two of the... Um, what are they called people help me out here the chargers i have two chargers and i end up using those too um because i think they look pretty nice and why hide them in the hutch right when i'm not even using them so don't forget this is a collab put together by sunday dawn at the helpful home so when you're done watching my video you're going to want to click the playlist below to watch everybody else in the collab and get some more motivation to do a tiny tidy don't forget to let me know what you tiny tidy today in the comments And there's that pillow that looks nice in the chair for five minutes until the cat sits in there and it gets in his way and you have to actually sun always moves that it makes a little tent on the chair with the blanket because the cats like to hide under it and there's that charger I was talking about that I'm going to use here to make it look more decorative for fall why not right And I put one of the chargers in the coffee station. I'm not sure I'm really liking that. That whole coffee area needs a little zhuzhing, but not in this video. And yeah, you saw a little paperwork over there on the side that needs done, but not in this video. Don't forget one drawer, one cabinet, one closet at a time. It will get done and we can do this together on Tiny Tidy Tuesdays. If you are new to my channel, make you sure you click my face right there and subscribe. And until next time, guys, enjoy your day.